Hi everyone, Nick from Bright Ideas Agency here. And in today's video, I'm just going to be taking a quick look at an issue that I ran into when utilizing Power Automate with Dataverse for Teams. So uh, we're here within Teams in my uh, demo environment. Um, and I'm just going to jump over into Power Apps, which is where I would make an app in Dataverse for Teams. Um, you, you have to access Power Apps from within Teams. You can't do it from make.powerapps.com. Uh, you have to use this app here. So within your build tab of your Power Apps app in Teams, any team that you have a Dataverse for Teams environment already installed on, is listed down the side here and you can add a Dataverse environment to any team simply by um, using this create button here. So here you can create an app um, and I can create an app, I can create a chatbot, I can create a card. There is no, um, I don't know why that happened, but there is no option to create a flow from here. So if I jump into my app I've just got a demo app here with, with nothing in it. As is normal in my Power Apps authoring environment, I can create a Power Automate flow from here. I can either add an existing flow or I can create a new flow. But the trigger of these flows that you create from within Power Apps is always Power Apps. Um, now, if I want to interact with Dataverse for Teams, I can do that from within here. And you'll notice that all of these Dataverse actions normally have a premium sticker next to them. Um, if we're in the normal make.powerapps.com, but here they don't because you're allowed to use these Dataverse actions within your normal um, Office 365 licensing, which is one of the big benefits of using Dataverse for Teams to develop apps versus um, going out and using the full-fledged Dataverse. In order to build out a solution, I don't always want my app to be the trigger point of my flow. So let me, if I go back into to build here, how do I create a flow that has a trigger outside of my, my app? I can't do it from here. Perhaps I use the Power Automate app that exists within Teams. That would make a lot of sense. So let's just find that app. There we go, Power Automate. Um, I don't have any flows, but I can create a flow from here. And I get all the options that I normally would if I create a blank flow. Uh, I can manually trigger the flow or I can have any action trigger that flow. Let's do a manually triggered flow. Um, so I'm just gonna grab some data from Dataverse. And that's weird, these premium listings have come back again. So if I want to list rows, I have to start a trial, I have to have a license. So um, it looks like I can't do that. Well, that's not correct, you actually can. So let's go back into our Power Apps app. And from here, I'm gonna click on See All. And that's gonna take me to a slightly different view of this uh, environment and from here I can actually go into cloud flows and I could create a cloud flow I can create an automated flow an instant flow a scheduled flow so let's create a scheduled flow I'm gonna do it once a day um, and then I'm gonna click create I've got my recurrence trigger here I'm gonna create a new action let's go into dataverse And you can see that my actions are back here again and they are not restricted by the premium sticker. And if I select one of them, I'm not prompted to um, get a license for Dataverse. So that's really it. That's all I wanted to show you. There's a little bit of um, a few hoops that you have to jump through to be able to create um, automated flows. Um, within Dataverse for Teams. This is something that's really good to have a play around with. 
Um, if you don't have experience of using Dataverse, it isn't a full-fledged Dataverse experience, um, but certainly it has a huge number of benefits over using a data source like SharePoint or Excel, where you're building apps for team productivity. If this video has been useful to you, then I'd appreciate you giving it a like. Um, I am creating more content along these lines, so please subscribe if you're interested in that. Uh, thank you for being here today, and until next time, bye-bye.